Hi folks, so you are playing another dice game. So you are allowed to roll a die two times and can choose to stop after the first roll if you wish. You will be paid the amount of the number that is rolled in the last roll. How much are you expect to make from this game? So for example, if I roll a six and I decide to stop, I'll get paid six dollar and if I roll a one and then I roll a two then I'm gonna get two dollar if I roll a four at this point if you stop I will get four dollar but I decided to roll again in which case I got a three in that at the end I'm only gonna get three dollar so how much are you willing to Pay such a game. There is actually a little bit of strategy here. How you can optimize your action to maximize the payout. So let's think about it. If we roll a six on the first time, you definitely don't want to roll again because you're not going to get any better. What about if you roll a five the first time? If you roll a five on the first time, if you stop, you're gonna get five dollar. But if you continue to play, you might get a smaller number, and there's a small chance that you are going to get a six, which is better than a five. So it's risky to roll again a five. And if you roll a one, obviously you probably want to roll again. So one way is yeah, maybe you, you can enumerate all the cases. But there is actually a simpler way to solve this problem. So let's get to it. We can actually work the problem backward. If you are only given one chance to roll a die, you are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six at equal probability. And the expected payout the expected payout going to be the average of one through six right because there's one six of a chance of getting each of them so that's going to be one plus two up to six divided by six is equal to 3.5 this is the expected payout from one round basically this is the last round so let's say on the first row you get a one we have two options that is I'm going to try again or I can stop if you got a one on the first row and you decided to try again you're basically you have one round left and you are expected to make this 3.5 payout and if you stop here, you're only just gonna get one. So obviously, you would want the 3.5. Similarly, if on your first row you got a two, and you try again, you're gonna get 3.5 again. And if you stop, you're gonna get a two. For three, 3.5, and three. If you got a four on the first row, and you try again, you are expected to make 3.5 but if you stop you actually have four dollar so four is better than 3.5 similarly if you got a five you would want to stop let's get more space and if you have a six you would want to stop so at two you want to try again to get the 3.5 so what that means is that when you got either a 1, 2, and 3, you're going to choose a 3.5. And when you get the 4, 5, 6, you're going to choose the 4, 5, and 6. So each of the events, each of the row here have one six probability of happening. 
So the expected payout is basically going to be 1, 6 times 3.5 for the first row rolling a 1 plus 1, 6 times 3.5 for the first row equal to 2 1, 6 times 3.5 when you got a 3 and then 1, 6 when you get a 4 1, 6 when you get a 5 1, 6 when you get a 6 if you add up all this the final expected outcome is going to be 4.25 so definitely compared to when you have only one round to play you expect it to make 3.5 but when you get two rounds to play and if you got a 1, 2 and 3 you will try again and when you get a 4, 5, 6 you, you stick with that you stop and stick with those pay you're able to enhance your final payout to be 4.25 thank you